guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again for episode 3 of Rotten or Fresh. Oh my god, we are finally at episode 3. Thank you guys who have seen episodes 1 and 2. If you have not seen those episodes, just to catch you up on things, in episode 1, Sean Chandler Talks About came out fresh. But in the most recent episode, which is 2, Tyler Tompkins came in with a technical knockout of 23 points over Cody Curtis in episode 2. And so the question is, who is going to join those two guys in the championship match in the future and be the third winner of Rotten or Fresh? We're about to find out. Let's introduce our four new contestants. First up, from the world of Durbania, we have Durbin. Durbin, introduce yourself. What's up? I'm super excited to be here, and both Sean Chandler and Tyler Tompkins have beaten me on Masters of Movie Trivia, so any chance I could get to lose to them again, I will go ahead and take it. So, I'm Durbin. You can check out my channel, Durbania, here on YouTube, movie reviews, uh, what do you call those, ranking videos, trailer reactions, all that fun stuff, so make sure you check that out. Up next, we have Jay Vaders. Jay, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Jay Vaders. I do movie reviews, top 10 lists, rankings, a little bit too many top 10 lists. Some people say I have no life, and they're right, I don't. But uh, I'm happy to be on the show, and yeah, I'm happy to be on the show and happily to lose to these three great contenders, so let's do this shit. All right. <laughs> Up next, we have the Neezy channel. Neezy, introduce yourself. Oh, it's my turn now. Uh, it's your boy Neezy from the Neezy channel. I just do movie reviews. You see movies before they come out and everything. Just pretty much get on camera and just tell you guys what you need to know about movies, whether you should see them or not, or if they're good or whatever, you know. And I'm just here to play a friendly game with you guys about movies that we all love that shit and hopefully i'll win a brand new car where we can all go see thor rack and rock when it comes out of my treat yeah <laughs> all right and last but not least we have zach pope what's up zach hey thank you so much for having me on here i'm so happy that i'm gonna be able to lose to all these great contenders thank you again for having me on here i do movie reviews rankings everything on here and i hope i get to go on that car too to see thor ragnarok yes we all want to see thor ragnarok all right guys Let's play Rotten or Fresh. Round one, let's start round one. This is the free-for-all round, as we like to call it. And here are the rules. You're gonna get 10 movies out of the 12 movie categories for this episode, 10 questions. It's your guy's goal to guess the Rotten Tomato score for that specific movie. If somebody, or if all of you, or another person, is able to guess the exact score of that Rotten Tomatoes movie, you're gonna get two points. But if no one gets the exact score, the person who's closest to the score without going over will get one point. You will all have 20 seconds to come up with an answer for each question. All right, guys, your first category is Tim Burton movies. Oh, one of our yes. New special yes. Categories. yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Your guys, your movie is Alice in Wonderland, which came out in 2010, which Alice stars Johnny Depp and Anne Hathaway. Hmm. Do Rotten Tomatoes do negatives? <laughs> I'm sure they do. I wish they did, but no. Negative seven. <laughs> this is a movie that a lot of people did not like, and I'm one of them. I, I, I am one of them. Five, I count for five with how much I four, dislike it. Four, three. I definitely two, remember seeing. It. Okay. One time. All right, Durbin, what do you have? I wrote down fifty-six percent. Jay, what do you have? Uh, I was going to say 15, but then I said 51%. <laughs> okay. Neezy, what do you have? Okay, uh, man, I feel kind of bad because I didn't think it was bad, but I <laughs> wrote down, uh, wrote, snap, I wrote down 49%. 49%. All right, Zach Pope, what do you have? All right, I'm right above Jay. I have 52% with a little kitty drawn. Ooh. Nice. 10 points for the kitty. Guess what? Guess what, guys? Someone has nailed the correct score. And it is Zach Pope! Woo! Oh, it is 52%. Yes. My oh, Zach. Two points for Zach. Oh. Damn it. Yes. I was, I was I close. Was, I was, I all was right, close. All right, guys. Okay. We gotta get, all right, guys. We got to get rolling. The next category is animated movies. Yeah, my favorite. And your movie is Ants. 
Ants. The movie Ants. is Ants. Came out in 1998. Damn, that movie's old. It's directed by Eric Darnell and Tim Johnson, starring Woody Allen and Sylvester Stallone. Oscar nominated performance. I forgot Stallone was in that. I did too. Ants. I haven't seen it in a long time. Ants. Oh, However, this was one of my favorite childhood movies growing up. I actually like it better than A Bug's Life. Five. Yeah, Four, I like it more than Bugs Life too. Three, I think it's pretty high. Two, one, Wait, stop. Keep, keep doing this. Keep doing this. All right, wow. let's start with Jay. What did you have, Jay? I wrote ninety-two uh, percent. Neezy, what do you have? Uh, I wrote down eighty percent. Eighty percent. Zach, what do you have? Uh, I wrote down ninety-four percent. I didn't get the draw on Ant. Wow, no. I um, uh, I went low. Durbin, what do you have? Zach. I went forty nine percent, but I guess that's my own Whoa. personal feelings. Of a bug life is infinitely better. Really, I like <laughs> ants more. It has all right. The on. person who, all right, the person who gets the point again, it's Zach Pope. Yes. He was the closest to the score. It was ninety six percent. Damn, I wow. have not seen. Wait, so now it's ninety six. I thought I was ninety six percent. You are the killing movie only it, man. Had, the movie only had 18 reviews out. Oh, wow. Uh, all right. <laughs> well, that Find makes sense. All right, people. guys. Your next movie is the Amityville Horror, the original. Oh, the I'll or- say which, which one. Yeah, the original. <laughs> 19 se- the 79 movie, directed by Stuart Rosenberg, mm. starring James Brolin and Margot Kidler. This is the original? I have no idea. This is the original. I... I have not the shitty Ryan Reynolds one. You mean all the shitty remakes? <laughs> yeah, right. Pretty much. Pretty much. Didn't see it. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. <laughs> all right, we're gonna start with Neezy. What do you have? Oh, uh, me. A lot. Uh, I think it's. I think it's. Uh, what is it? Forty-eight percent. I think it's forty-eight percent. Good guess. All right. Zach, what do you have? Uh, 75%. Ooh. <laughs> I'm probably so wrong. I like Durbin. Dur- <laughs> oh so Durbin, what do you have? I, so I went many. ahead and guessed 87%. Well, I'm so low. Shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Jay. Jay Vader. Hey, Neezy, you thought you were low? Uh, 38%. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, gentlemen, you all went over the actual score. What? It was 30%. What, what the fuck? Oh. Oh. Wow. So wow. no one gets points. Wow. Jesus. Wow. Well, I don't That's very yeah. surprising. Yeah. All right, yeah, guys, your next down. category is sci-fi. Ooh. Sci-fi. Let it be your aliens. Movie is Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock. Ah, shit. Oh, snap. 1984, directed Star by Trek. Leonard Nimoy, fuck. Mr. Spock, and starring Captain Kirk, William Shatner. Shatner, of course. Of course. Shatner. Oh, Lord. Shit. Ah. Was that a g- rest in peace to Mr. That, Spock? That was a good one. So uh, I'm doing terrible. Like, not a Star Trek guy. I, I, I am. Not, I'm not either. I, I am not Star. Three. Uh, two. Here I go. Guess one. Again. Fuck it. Stop. <laughs> put this one down. All right, Zach. What do you have? Uh, I put seventy-five percent. Wow. Durbin, Durbin, what do you have? <laughs> uh, I drew a picture like Zach, and I went with 75% as well. I promise Ooh, I didn't man. copy off you. That's all right, Durbin. Okay. I don't. I believe you. Dirty. Jay, what do you have? Oh, me? Uh, 72? 72? 70. Wow, okay, okay. Neezy, what do you have? I, okay, I don't feel too bad. Everybody's in my ballpark. I put, I put 71%. Dang, we're all close. We're all close. All right, two people get points for this question. Shit. Wait, let it be the me. People who Sweet. were closest to the score were Durbin and Zach. Yeah, oh. the, the actual, yes. The, the actual guys, guys. The actual score was seventy nine percent. Oh, oh damn. Both get a point. Damn. Damn. Wow. I'm so hey, I'm in the game now. I'm on the board. That's exciting. All right, guys. The next category is comedy. God. In your movie. <laughs> in your movie. Your movie is the classic White Chicks. Ooh, oh, I just a, watched this. Dir- directed by Keenan Ivory Wayans. There's uh, no way that's Starring Sean high. and There's Marlon Wayans. There's no way that is high. <laughs> I do not like that. Film. I just watched this. 
I don't like that movie. <laughs> oh man. I hope I'm not in the minority. Sometimes you gotta throw bad movies. <laughs> Thank God this is on Netflix. I just watched this. Five. Time. Oh nice. Four. <laughs> Never seen it. Three. Oh, two. One. <laughs> stop. All right, Durbin, what do you have? I I guessed forty one percent. Jay, what do you have? Uh, twenty two percent. Neezy, what do you have? I'm gonna say, Ryan, I put 15%. fifteen percent. Fifty percent or more. What do you have? Right, Same as Neezy, with a girl drawn next to it, fifteen. Two people got the exact score. Yeah. It is Neezy and Zach. Shit. percent I'm finally on the board. Two <laughs> points for both of you guys. God damn it. <laughs> I hate All right, guys, your next category is war movies. War movies. Yes. War. Your war. movie is oh, Letters, from oh, Letters from Iwo Jima. What? Letters from Iwo Jima, directed by Clint Eastwood, starring Ken Watanabe. Oh, Lord. I'm with some hieroglyphics, so... This was a really great war movie. One of Clint Eastwood's best movies. Never seen it. It's a good movie. It's a very good movie. I've heard that. I need, I to, need, to, I need to watch it. Well, Five. I guess I'm just going to guess. Four, three, <laughs> two, one, stop. Jay Vader's. Uh, 87, 87%. Neasy. Uh, I pick uh, 80%. 80%. Zach, what do you have? Uh, 88%. Sorry, I kind of messed up with my writing. <laughs> <laughs> Durbin, what do you I went a little have? higher. I did uh, 93%. Oh, nice. All right. And the person who gets the point is Zach Pope. Wow. Oh, shit. That, that was, was a 90, guess. That was the a actual guess. score was 91%. Oh, I oh, went nice. over. So one point for uh, Zach. Uh, you went over. You're so close. <laughs> My first guess was 91. <clears throat> oh. You gotta stick All right, with that guys. First your guess. next you category first is guess. sports movies. Sports, sports movies. Your okay. movie is Field of Dreams, hmm. 1989, starring Kevin Costner, directed by Phil Alden Robinson. You have Kevin Costner and James Earl Jones. All right, Zach. I went with my first guess this time, so we'll see if this works. <clears throat> All right, hopefully it does, man. I, I hope so. If not, I'm just going to cry. It's hopeless. <laughs> and I'll just continue Five, to get it wrong. Four, three, two, one, stop. Neezy, what do you have? Oh, me. Okay, I wrote down, I'm going to say 85%. 85%. Zach, what do you have? 80%. Durbin. I wrote 87%. Jay, the wrong answer, 92%. <laughs> it deserves a 92%. Oh, vote. God. That's the problem. All right, and the person who gets the point is Neezy. You were one point from the score. It was 86%. Oh, oh I, I was one point. And Durbin went me. over yet again. And slightly over. <laughs> Gosh. Hey, Neezy, right, good guys, job on that one. Your next category. You guys uh, are going to hate me. The next category is Julia Roberts. Let's, do this. Uh, let's, let's get it done. Let's get it done. <laughs> I, stu hey, I studied this one. I got this. Notting Hill. Notting Hill. Not Directed her. by Roger Mitchell. That's a good movie. Her That's a good. And Hugh Grant. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Notting Hill. I like that movie. You also had Hugh Grant in it. I liked it the first time I watched just, it, and then it was annoying after that. I'm just a girl standing yeah. in front of a boy asking him to love her. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Julia. All right, uh, Zach Pope, what do you have? Uh, yeah, the wrong one, yeah, 43%. Zach. Damn. For real? Durbin. I had two guesses, and I hope this is the right one. 81%. Hmm. Hmm. Jay, what do you have? Uh... 83% because I like the movie. Oh, wow. All right, Neezy, what do you have? Uh, I got matching answers. I got 81%. I did not see Same that. Same as Durbin. All right, someone has got the exact score. It was Jay Vader's. Oh, my God. Nice. Nice job, Jay. 
As soon Go as Jay. you said Go 83, I remembered Jay. seeing it online today, and I was so angry. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, you're, everyone's favorite category, comic book movies. Yeah. yeah! This is it. Oh. Your, movie, your movie is Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. I, Ew. I saw that. Oh, man. <laughs> Ew. Directed Fantastic by Tim Four. Story, starring Chris Evans and Jessica uh. Alba. Yeah. I remember having nightmares and a headache. Headaches after watching this movie. In now theaters. the true so question mad. is, because I the love the Fantastic Silver Surfer. Movie? Oh well, that's easy. Fan that's easy, fan four stick. Fan I collected stick. the Burger King toy. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. All right, Durbin, a movie you haven't seen. What do you have? I put fifty-three percent. It's rotten. Whoa. Ooh, that's high. Jay, Jay, what do you have? Uh. 29%. Oh, that's really rotten. <laughs> Don't eat that. Easy. Easy. What do you have? I mean, I, I, uh, stab in the dark, but I took 37%. 37%. That's, a, that's a better guess. Yeah, right, right in the Zach, middle. Right in the Zach, middle. what do you have? So like, Same as Easy, 37%. I'm all thinking you're yeah. going to say Civil War or something like. Zach and Neezy, you both got the exact score. Thirty-seven percent. There's a pattern study here. Two people guess the same thing. All right, guys, <laughs> All right, guys you got one more question left in round one, well, it be and it is crime movies. Okay. Your movie is Geely. What? What? Geek Geekly, two thousand three, oh. starring Be starring Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. Oh God. Geely. Geely. Um, uh, that's one of my worst movies of all time, actually. Uh, <laughs> so I'm guessing I should never yeah. see it, because I've never even heard of this movie. Damn. I never saw oh, wow. It's <laughs> infamously bad. Oh, God. Five, four, three, stick with this two, answer. one, stop. Jay, what do you have? One percent. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, easy. What do you have? Uh, I picked twenty-three uh, percent. <laughs> Zach, what do you have? Uh, Thirty-five percent with a sad face. <laughs> Durbin, where do you I have? went five percent. Uh. Durbin, you were the closest to the score by one point six percent. I saw Another one point. point. Wow. One point for Durbin. Yeah. Wow, that was, uh, all that right. was super far. All right. All right. All right, guys. That concludes round one. Cody, give us an update on everyone's points after round one. At the end of round one, Zach Pope is in the lead with nine points. In second place, we have Neezy with five points. And tied down at the bottom, we have both Durbin and Jay with two points, with still plenty of time to catch up. How did you guys at home do in round one? How many points did you get? Let us know down below. All right, guys, let's get into round two. This is the solo round, as we call it. Here's how it works. Each of you are going to get the opportunity to pick two categories of your choice in this round. And then you're going to get three questions, whatever categories you guys choose. And remember, each correct answer in round two is worth two points. However, multiple choice is available in this round. If you do choose multiple choice and you get your question right, your point goes down to one point. But however, if you get your question wrong, you get to pick any contestant you want to steal the question. And the same point value applies to the stealer. After you choose a category in this round, that category is out until the next round. And the person with the least amount of points at the end of this round will be the first rotten contestant, and there will be sudden death if necessary. Durbin, you're gonna go yes. first in round two. So Durbin, choose your okay. first category of choice. I'll do uh, Tim Burton movies. Tim Burton movies. All right, Durbin, first question in Tim Burton. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Corpse Bride? Oh, man. Um, uh, I'm going to multiple choice it. Multiple choice. Is it A, 95%, B, 83%, C, 74%, or D, 89%? I'll go with uh, B. B is correct for one point. Yeah! Woo! All right. 
<laughs> okay, Durbin, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children? Uh, multiple choice. It. Multiple choice. Is it A, 82%, B, 75%, C, 55%, or D, 64%? Uh, let's go with D as a dog. D is correct, Durbin. One point. <laughs> yeah. And finally, finally, I Durbin, thrive off guessing a multiple choice. Durbin, tries. which Tim Burton movie is his lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? Oh, that would be Alice Through the Looking Glass. That is incorrect. So, Durbin, who do you choose what? to steal? Oh, no. Uh, I'll pick Zach Pope. All right, Zach. Planet of the Apes. Is that right? That is also incorrect. Oh, what? The correct answer was Dark... Dark Shadows, 37%. Oh. Oh, man. Dang. I thought Planet of the Apes. <laughs> All right, Jay, you're up next. Jay, choose your first category. Um, I'll choose my high school crush, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Get, getting the okay. special categories out of the way. Julia Roberts. All right, Jay, first question. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Aaron Brockovich? Um, oh my god. Um, um, 84%? 84? 84. 84 is correct. <laughs> Two points. Yeah! Good guess. Yeah. Jay, which, <laughs> fi which film starring Julia Roberts is her highest rated on Rotten Tomatoes? Um... I want to say Aaron Brockovich again. Um, um, the player. Five, the player. Four. The player is correct. Jay, ninety-eight percent. Underrated classic. Wow, that that really impressed me. All right, Jay. Finally, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Secret in Their Eyes? Uh, oh yeah, the one she'll tell Asian for. Uh, thir thirty-eight percent. That is correct. Two points. Yeah. Good job, Jay. Wow. Neezy, mm. you're up next. Choose your first category of choice. Uh, uh, I'm going to just do uh, I should, shouldn't do this. I know this one, but I, got, I don't want knocked out. So I'm going to pick comic book movies. Comic book movies. All right. Oh, well, Here we go, Neezy. Yeah. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Man of Steel? Ooh, Man of Steel, though. I know this one. Hmm. Ooh, Man of Steel. Uh. Five, four. Is it eighty-two? Eighty-seven. 80, 87% is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Uh, Jay. Jay Vader's. Oh, Man of Steel? Oh, uh, 58? That is incorrect. Oh. The correct answer was 55%. Ah, son of a bitch. Shit, <laughs> shit. I was scared you're gonna choose Durbin. Damn. Neezy, what is? How many MCU movies are rated between 80 through 89% scores on Rotten Tomatoes? And there's like 17. Okay. How many? Okay. Uh. 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 Multiple. Five. Points. Multiple choices is it A, 5, B, 2, C, 6, or D, 4? I'm going to say... Really point. Hmm. Might have some Five, four movies. I'll four, say... Three, 6. 6 is incorrect. Damn. <laughs> uh, let's try Zach. Damn. That was wrong. Who do you choose, Neezy? Oh, I choose Zach. Zach. Uh, can you repeat the question and the answers one more time? Yes, I can. How many MCU movies are rated between 80 through 89% on Rotten Tomatoes? Is it A5, B2, C6, or D4? And which one did he say? C. He said C. Okay, I'm gonna go with, um, the, I'm gonna go with five. Six. He said six. He already said uh, C, Zach. Oh, oh, sorry. Five, five. Five is incorrect. The correct answer is D, four. The
The movies are Captain oh, wow. America the Winter Soldier, Guardians 2, Ant-Man, and Captain America the First Avenger. Oh. Okay. All right, Neezy, final question in comic book. What yeah. is the Rotten Tomato score for Scott Pilgrim vs. the World? Ooh. Uh, 77%. That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Freaking suck at this. I didn't shit it before. Uh, I'm going to pick Jay. Jay. Scott Pilgrim. Oh my god, I love this movie. Is it uh, 82? That is so close, Jay, but it's incorrect. Fuck me up, the ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zach, you're up next. Choose your first category. Uh, first category, I'll, just, I'll do new releases. New releases. All right, Zach, what is the Rotten Tomato score for the Masterpiece The Emoji Movie? I hope to God this did not change because I'm going to be pissed. Um, I looked this morning. It was 10%. You are correct, Zach. Two points. Yeah. Ah. Oh. It should what be negative the, 10%. Zach, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Captain Underpants, the first epic movie? Oh. Um. Can I get multiple choice? Yes. Is it A, 55%, B, 87%, C, 61%, or D, 39%? B. B is correct for one point. And finally, Zach. Zach, which 2017 January release has the highest Rotten Tomato score? Um, sp split. Split. That is incorrect. Oh, okay. Who do you choose to steal? Uh, I'll go with Neezy. Neezy. Uh, do we have multiple choice? You can't pick multiple choice. Oh, uh, which has the highest? I, uh, I'm gonna say... Five. Uh, four, I shouldn't say this. <laughs> the the bye-bye man. Two. That is <laughs> incorrect. The correct answer was the founder, 84%. Oh, that did, co I that that did come out in January. Ah, oh, God. The I thought founder. that was a live release, December. so it's a 2017 movie. I forget movie. all about that. Dang movie. it. All right. all right. We are back to Durbin. Durbin, what's your final okay. category of choice? Oh, boy. Uh, I will do... Uh, let's... Ah, let's just do war movies. Let's go. War movies. All right. Someone finally picks war movies. All right, Durbin. That's right. What is the Rotten Tomato score for The Hurt Locker? Give me multiple choice. Is it A, 90%, B, 97%, C, 77%, D, 85%? C. That is incorrect. Who do you choose? Ah, Neezy. Neezy. Snap. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the, repeat the question. What is the Rotten Tomato score for The Hurt Locker? A, 90%, B, 97%, C, 77%, D, 85%. Um, gonna say B, 97%. B is correct, Neezy. One point, well, 97%. Nice. Well, kiss me Jesus. All right, Durbin. D Durbin, All right. what is the Rotten Tomato score for Hacksaw Ridge? Oh, it better be good. Um, ah, give me multiple choice. Is it A, 86%, B, 94%, C, 92%, or D, 81%? I'm going to go with D as in dog. That is incorrect. Who do you choose? Monkey's uncle. Ah, oh, man. Ah, uh, Jay. Jay. Um, is it 86%? That is correct for one point, which is a complete disgrace. It should be higher than that. It's All a right. great film. Durbin. That is an amazing movie. Durbin which, Durbin, which 2016 war movie besides Hacksaw Ridge has a 60% score on Rotten Tomatoes? Oh, man. Okay, I definitely got to go multiple choice here. All right. Is it A, Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk, B, 13 Hours, C, Snowden, or D, Ally? 13 Hours. That is incorrect. Who do you choose? Ah, I'll go with Zach Pope. It better not be and Snowden. Zach. That movie was so boring. Uh, Zach Pope. What was the question one more time? Because I think I know what it is. 
Which 2016 war movie besides Hacksaw Ridge is a 60% score? Billy uh, Lynn, B, Allied. 13 Allied. Hours, Snow and... Allied is correct. Yeah. Two points. Snowden One did point. not deserve that. Snowden did not deserve higher than... All right, up next we have Jay. What's your final oh. category? Oh, well, all the good ones are taken. Can I have Julie Roberts again? You can't. <laughs> what, what do you oh. pick, Jay? Uh... You know what? Fuck it. Let's go horror movies. <laughs> horror. All right, Jay. Jay, which 2016 horror movie has the highest Rotten Tomato score? Um. Uh, is Five. it? Is it The Witch? That is correct, Jay. Two points. Ninety-one percent. Jay, what is the Rotten Tomato score for The Exorcist? The original. Is is it eighty-six uh, percent? Wow, you are correct. Oh. Two points. Jay, finally, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Sinister? First one. First one. Okay. Uh, um. Five. Four. Sixty-eight. Three. Sixty-eight. That is incorrect. You choose. Um, Neasy. Yeah. Neasy. Yes. Repeat the question. I forgot. <laughs> what is the Rotten Tomato score for Sinister? Uh, uh, uh. Going to say sixty-three percent. That is incorrect. Sixty-three percent. Ah, I knew it was in the sixties. All right, Neasy, you're up next. Okay. Uh. Let's go with, um, anim animated. Animated. All right, Neasy. What is the Rotten Tomato score for The Croods? The Croods? What is that? Uh, multiple choice. Is it A, 41%, B, 71%, C, 55%, or D, 68%? I'll try uh, D, 68%. That is incorrect. Who do you choose? Uh, Durbin. Durbin. Oh, good. All right, give me the question and the multiple choice again. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the Croods? A, 41%, B, 71%, C, 55%, or D, 68%? I'll do 61%. 61 is not an option. Dang it, 55. 55. Uh, 55. 55's incorrect. It is 71%. Should have picked that, bro. I should. All right, Durbin. I should have. Neasy, what is. Which film in the Ice Age franchise has the lowest Rotten Tomato score? Oh, Lord. All of them. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Neasy. Uh, um. It was, it's the. the oh, what was it? Uh, it's the, the latest one. Ice Age. Three, okay, wait, two, multiple choice. One. Is it A, Ice Age 2 The Meltdown? B, Ice Age Continental Drip? C, Collision Course? Or D, Ice Age? Is a uh, Collision Course. That is correct for one. Yeah, point. I just couldn't know the name. All right. Okay. Neasy, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Inside Out? Oh, I love that movie. It was my top 10 best list. I'm going to say um, Inside Out. 98. Five, f 98 is correct. Two points. My top ten best list, 2015. All right, Zach Pope. Last but not least, what's your final category? All right, so can I pick Tim Burton or no? No, you can't. It's already taken. Damn. Uh, let's go action adventure, I guess. Action adventure. All right. So, Zach, what is the Rotten Tomato score for the Goonies? Oh. Um, uh. Multiple choice. Is it A, 93%, B, 81%, C, 75%, or D, 70%? Uh, let's go D. That is correct for one point. Cool. All right, Zach, which of the original Harry Potter movies has the lowest Rotten Tomato score? This one has oh. two answers. Oh, it does? Okay, um, give me multiple choice then. Is it A, Half-Blood Prince, B, Order of the Phoenix, C, Chamber of Secrets, or D, Deathly Hallows Part 1? So there's two answers? Yes. Okay, so... Uh, 
I'll go with Deathly Hollows Part 1. That is correct. That and Order of the Phoenix have 78% scores. All right, and finally, Zach, what is the Rotten Tomato score for 300? Ooh, the first one. Yes. Five, four, three, uh, multiple two. Choice. Is it A, 72%, B, 66%, C, 60%, D, 77%? Uh, I, I know it wasn't that high, so I'll go 60. That is correct for one point. All right, that concludes round two. Cody, what is the score for round two? At the end of round two, Zach Pope is still in the lead with 16 points. Jay Vaders has moved up to second place with 13 points. And with a solid performance of nine, Neasy is in third place. And unfortunately, with only four points at the end of round two, Durbin becomes our first rotten contestant. How did you guys at home do in round two? Did your category get chosen or would you have chosen something else? Let us know down below. Durbin, Durbin, Durbin. Wow. Give us your final overall thoughts. Who do you think's going to win at the end? Uh, you know, it, it's got to be between Zach Pope and Jay. No, no insult to Neasy, but I mean, my gosh. I mean, Zach, I think he's going to take it, but I mean, that's just kind of where I'm at with it, but... This is why you study. This is why in school you learn how to study. So when you find yourself on a YouTube game show, you can study properly and be ready. All right, guys, let's get going to round three. This is the listing round. Your goal is to list as many movies as you can related to the question. You're gonna have you're gonna have 30 seconds to write as many movies as possible on your paper or whiteboard. And this question can be anything. It could be an actor, an actress, a director, or a movie franchise. You just have to list as many movies as you can. Each correct answer in this round is worth one point. The contestant with the least amount of points at the end of this round will be the second round contestant. Are you guys ready to go? List as many films as you can that have over an 80% on Rotten Tomatoes featuring the actress Julianne Moore. Honestly, Durbin, if you were still here, how many Julianne Moore movies could you list? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> One. <laughs> All right, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Stop. All right, we are going to start oh, with Neezy. What do you have? I feel Shit. so stupid. I put Pitch Perfect, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. Pitch Perfect. I, and sorry, man, I that figured. is not on the list, so you get no points. <laughs> All right, up next is Jay. What do you have? Oh, um, I have uh, Boogie Nights, Still Alice, Shortcuts, and Maps to the Stars. What was the third movie, Jack? Maps to the Stars? Maps to the Stars. That is three correct uh, answers. Maps to the Stars is not on there. Uh, so three points to I just took a shot. All right, Zach, what do you have? Uh, do you need to see my list on the camera? Do you need to, see, sorry? Do you need to see my list? Do I need to point my list to the camera? Um, yes, I can see your list. Oh, okay. So I have The Kids Are All Right. Uh, sure, if you want. The Big Lebowski, Damn, The Fugitive. Don John, Boogie Nights, Still Alice, and then Mockingjay Part 1 or part, and Part 2. Uh, Jack, I didn't get any of those. Can you just say it one by one? I'm sorry. Yeah, no problem. So I have The Kids Are Alright, The Big Lebowski, The Fugitive, uh, Don John, Boogie Nights, Okay. Still Alice, Okay. Mockingjay Part 1, okay. and Mockingjay Part 2. Okay, that is five correct answers for Damn. Zach. The Hunger Games movies are not on oh, the list. Really? Oh. So well, five I don't points like those for Zach. So. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, Cody, what is the score after round three? At the end of round three, Zach is still maintaining his lead with 21 points. 
In second place, we have Jay Vaders with 16 points. And unfortunately, with no points gained in round three with nine points, Neezy becomes our second rotten contestant. Could you guys at home think of any more Julianne Moore movies? Let us know down below. Yeah, Julianne Moore really got you, man. But give us your overall thoughts. And who do you think's going to win at the end? Uh, my overall thoughts, it was just great finally being on the show. I had a great time. I haven't stopped smiling since the camera started rolling. Um, definitely shout outs to Ryan. His, his whole show was great and amazing. And I think, uh, I'm, I'm going to say it. I think Zach, I think Zach's going to probably take the whole thing, man. So you do it, man. You win it and get that car. All right, guys, we are in the final round. Zach Pope and Jay Vaders, round four. It is the higher or lower round. Here's how this round works. Both of you guys are going to choose three numbers ranging from one through 12. And those numbers, the point values are different. Your first question, your first question is going to be worth one point. Your second one is worth three points, and your final question's worth five points. You're then gonna get your movies, and all 12 of the movie categories are randomized. So, the person, of course, with the most points at the end wins, the person with the least amount loses. And if there's sudden death needed, we will do sudden death. Zach, since you're in the lead, you get to pick your three numbers first, one through 12. Uh, three, five, seven. Three, five, and seven. All right, Jay, what do you have? I I wanted those numbers actually, but <laughs> uh, two, four, and six. See what I did there? <laughs> yeah, I get it, Jay. I get it. All right, odds and odds and evens. All right, all right. So, and Jay, since you're behind, you're gonna go first. Always and am. always the person who is behind will go first each time. So That's what she said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, Jay, the first number Jay, the first number you chose was number two. That is the category of crime movies. Okay. Crime movies. Your movie is Jay Heat. heat. Michael Mann's okay. Heat. Okay. Eighty five eighty five percent, Jay. Higher or lower? Higher. It's gotta be higher. That is correct. Yeah. One point. Eighty-six percent was the actual score. Oh, really? It should be like a ninety. Oh yeah. All right, Jay, you're still behind, so we will stick with you. You have to answer your three-point question next. So the second number you chose was number four. Okay. That corresponds to the category of Tim Burton. Oh, Timmy. Tim TV. Burton. TV. All right, Jay. Your movie is Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, 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 Beetlejuice. 90, 90%. Higher or lower? 90? You said 90? Yes. Uh, lower. That is correct. Three points. 82%. <laughs> Nice fucking model. He needs to hit this. <laughs> Jay, you need to hit this. This is your five-point question in order to bounce it back to Zach. Your five-point question. You chose number six. That corresponds to the category of animated movies. Okay. Animated. All your right. movie is Hercules. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. 80, 89%, Jay. Higher or lower? Overrated movie, in my opinion. It better be lower. <laughs> you are correct, Jay. Right. Five nice. points. There you go, Jay. 80, nice. 83%. Nice. Too nice high. Job. Lower. Too high. All right. Zach, here we go. Your first number you chose was number three. That corresponds to the category of action adventure. Oh, fuck me. Action adventure. Here we That's go. What she said. <laughs> Zach, Zach, your movie is The Magnificent Seven, the remake. 73%. Lower. Higher lower. or lower? Lower. That is correct for one point. 63%. So, Zach, the second number you chose was number five. Number five is Julia Roberts. Oh. Ah! 
Julia Roberts. My sexy the movie redhead. is Charlotte's Web. Seventy-five percent higher. I studied or this lower. one. It's higher. That is correct. Three points. Seventy-eight oh. percent tie game. It's right. a tie game. Oh. It's a tie game. Jesus. 25-25. I'm, I'm biting yeah. my nails. I haven't done that Zach, since 10. <laughs> Zach, you need to hit your five-point question uh, or else we go to sudden death. Uh, you uh, For your five-pointer, Zach, you chose number seven. That is sci-fi. Sci-fi. Your movie is, Zach, Prometheus. 68%. What was the percentage? Higher or lower? What was the percentage I didn't hear? It? 68%. Lower. S sudden death! Oh, sudden oh, death! Oh. Higher! 72%. Damn. Damn it! I knew it was 72. Sudden I death! Higher. Dang it. Sudden death. Alright, guys, we are back in sudden death. Zach and Jay. Here is how sudden death works. It's just gonna be like round one. You're gonna have to guess the Rotten Tomato score for that specific movie. If someone is able to guess the score or whoever's closest to the score without going over. The first person to get it right and the other person to get it incorrect is the winner of episode three of Rotten or Fresh. And then if you both, if you both get it correct, we will go to another question. Your category is comedy, comedy. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Knocked Up? Oh, I just looked this Starring up. Seth Rogen. Shit. I actually like this movie. Knocked Up is a good movie. It is a good movie. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. All right, Jay, what do you have? I said 90%. Zach, what do you have? Right underneath you, Jay, 89. And the winner is... Shit. Zach Pope! God damn it! Zach Yay! Pope is the winner! Yeah. It is 89%. Ah. You got the exact source, Zach. It is 89%. Zach Pope, you are the winner of episode Woo! three of Rotten or Fresh. 27 to 25. 100%. That was intense. Jay, Jay Vaders, give us your overall thoughts. Ah, uh, one goddamn percent. Ah, uh, but yeah, it was a good game. It was a good game. Zach, you beat me. I take my hat off to you, and I don't ever take my hat off. Zach, what is your overall thoughts? Um, dude, this was so much fun. I love meeting all you guys finally. Uh, this was a ton of fun. Thank you so much for having me, Ryan. Thank you to all my competitors. This made me sweat more than I've ever sweat in my whole life, and that's saying a lot. Because so, I used to run cross country and tracks, so I'm sweat a lot. It's the lights, it's the questions, and I guess studying actually does help because I studied harder than this than I have any s test this semester so far. Zach Pope is the winner, guys. He will be facing off against Sean Chandler Talks About and Tyler Tompkins in the championship match in the future. Thank you guys so much for participating. Thank you guys for watching at home. Let us know your thoughts down below in the comments. Very quickly, I want to give each of you guys an opportunity to shout out your social medias and your YouTube. So... We will start off with Durbin. Where can we find you? All right, you can find me, like my shirt says, on Durbania. Just type that into YouTube, and I'll be the first and only one that pops up. And come over there where I act like I know more about movies than I do in game shows like this, apparently. <laughs> but thank you for having me on. It's been a blast. No problem, man. Neezy, where can we find you? I'm uh, what is it, Forest Slash, the Neezy channel. You know, we can talk about all type of movies and stuff like that because I know more about movies when I'm just, when I see them coming out the theater instead of like trying to remember all this shit. But I had a great time on Twitter, Black Neezy, and yeah, it was a great time doing this gang show, Ryan. And I hope Zach, you're taking me to see Thor Ragnarok next month, two months from now. All right, Jay Vaders, where can we find you? Uh, I'm Jay Vaders. I'm on Jay Vaders on YouTube. I do movie reviews, top tens, rankings. I do too many of them, but you know what? Again, I have no life. I have no life. It... And yeah, you can hit me up on YouTube or check me out on my Facebook if you want to talk to me in person. I will respond to you, maybe, if you're not creepy. So yeah, check me out. All right. 
And finally, the champion, Zach Pope. Where can we find you? So you can find me over at Zach Pope, Zach Pope Reviews. Any of that, type it in YouTube. It will come up. I also do some short films over on Xandria Studios with some friends. All fun there. Top 10s, trailer reactions. I Sometimes I stream some video games when I don't feel like I'm going to suck. And just so everyone knows, I am not cheating. Here's my little food table with my notebook. I swear to God, I'm not cheating. Thank you guys. Thank you again for having me. Thank you guys so much for watching episode three. And as always, if you like what you see here, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe today and subscribe to all four of these guys. They have fantastic channels. And yes, as always, all my social media links are in the description down below. Be sure to click that notification bell on your way out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Fight!